On the sixth Sunday in the season of Easter, we remember how disciples returned to Jerusalem. They gathered again in their room, and Jesus was there. They were more comfortable now with the new way of knowing him, so they asked him many questions. Most of them were foolish. Lord, will you restore the kingdom to Israel? Jesus cut such talk short. It's not for you to know the times or seasons. Then he let them out of the room and through the streets. They went beyond the walls of Jerusalem to a hillside, perhaps near Bethany. Jesus stopped and they gathered around him. He lifted his hands, looking at each one, and blessed them. Then he withdrew, and a cloud took him out of sight. The disciples stood there looking into the sky until someone said, Why are you looking up into the sky? There were two men standing there, dressed in white. And the disciples felt silly. What were they doing, looking up into the sky for what could no longer be seen? The strangers then answered their own question. This was Jesus. He is gone now, as you have known him. It seemed like a great weight had been lifted off their shoulders. The disciples turned and walked back to Jerusalem. Now they had to wait. What was this Holy Spirit who said was coming? How would they know it when it arrived? They waited and waited. And while they waited, they found someone to replace Judas. God helped them choose Matthias, so now they were the twelve once more. But they still had to keep waiting. How long would it take for the Holy Spirit to come?